Hey y'all, it's Cody, and today we are back with the Sims 4 Dine Out expansion game pack. It's a game pack, y'all. Sorry about that. Anyway, we're back with our Dine Out series. I'm picking up right where we left off in the last episode. I went ahead and made all of our outfits for our staff. I didn't realize it until I was already done that I went with primary colors for all of them. So, <clears throat> <coughs> oh dear God, excuse me, y'all. I don't know what that was. I am so sorry about that. Anyway, our chefs are going to be wearing yellow, our wait staff will be wearing red, and our hosts will be wearing blue. I didn't realize that I was going with primary colors until I'd already finished all of their outfits. Or all of their uniforms. So anyway, I've went ahead and made those. In the last episode, we got our menu together. I gave y'all a tour of the restaurant. And I went ahead and... Yeah, actually, that's all we did. That's really all we did. Um, so yeah, we've got everyone hired. So now that we're here, we've got everything set up. I'm going to go ahead and open for business. Restaurant is now open and customers are ready to arrive and eat delicious food. So I really want to see our staff members. I know I hired only only females uh, in the last part, but that's because they were all already qualified for everything. So here is can't remember her name Yumiko Yamaguchi. She is our waitress, and oh my god, she looks great in this uniform. I really love it on her. Where is everyone else? Where are the, where's the hostess and our chef? But once we get enough perk points, because we do have perk, we can buy perks once we earn points for our restaurant. So I can add another waiter and we can get another chef, another waiter. And then I think we can only have one host though, which kind of sucks, but that's okay. But, you know, it's all good. It's all good. We can add another chef. There should be... Isn't there a... Can't you hire a third chef? Or can you only hire one? Or can you only have two? Yeah, we don't need that. Okay. But once we... Ah, here's our hostess and our chef. Wait, what is she doing with her son? Oh, they're just chatting. Oh, that's so cute. But anyway... Oh, oh, we've got Bella Goff coming in. Super excited. Let me go ahead and show you the hostess outfit up close since it is really cute. I'm going to go ahead and pause while we wait. I gave all of the all of the female uniforms have these boots just in different colors. And I gave the chefs and the uh, waiters leggings because the outfits were just missing a little something. So you know, there we go. They look really nice. But yeah. Just simple dine-out things, really cute, really colorful. They really fit the theme of the resta restaurant. And I'm really sorry, Joey, but I need your mother to come in here and welcome Miss Bella Goth. Or Mrs. Bella Goth, my apologies. Alright, this is Bella, isn't it? Yeah, it is Bella, okay. She just looked a little different from what I remembered. So, stop talking to your son. I apologize. Thank you. Uh, I can't remember your name, and I feel really horrible about that. It's going to take me a while. Yumiko? Yes, Yumiko. Thank you for cleaning up those plates. I really, really appreciate it. We are going to go ahead and going to praise her. And actually, since we have the money, I'm going to go ahead and pay for training for everybody. That way they can go ahead and just get everything done or get things, get their skills up. That's what I'm trying to say. So just so we don't have too many mishaps. Uh, pay for training. There we go. There we go. Ah, uh, right now neither of the goths are happy. That's not good. 
So hopefully if we welcome them really quick, they'll they'll be happier. Then we've got Miss Katrina Caliente. Yep. God, I can't believe I remember th I remember them just by how they look. Ugh. I've been playing this game for too long, I guess. Um, but it happens with everyone. It happens with everyone. It's okay. Everyone knows these Sims. Excuse me. There we go. And then once you're done telling everyone to go get training, we can come in and welcome Miss Caliente. Probably should have waited to tell them all that they that we're giving them training. But, you know, it's okay. It's all good. Oh, and then we've got Jeffrey Landgrab. God, we're getting all the rich families in here. But hey, everyone is welcome to love to the lovely Karn's house. I don't know why it's taking her so long to go around and talk to everyone. Actual and here, Joey, while you're here, you should have homework. Yes, you do. Why don't you do your homework? Just while your mother takes care of things around the restaurant, make sure everything is up to speed. Let's get you ready for school tomorrow. <laughs> Will there be an obstacle course? Don't tell me. I want it to be a surprise. So I'm spending probably a bit too much money right now, just starting out. But, you know, it's okay. It is all good. And we're just going to fast forward a little bit. Because we've got the money to spend on training, so why not do it, you know? So, come on. Come on, Leah. Let's... Great, just what I wanted. A chance to go to a class in my off time. Sorry, honey, but we just want to make sure you're prepared. Appreciate you investing in my future here. Aww. I'm really glad you're positive about it. That makes me happy. God, these people have such great attitudes. I'm so happy that our chef wants to stay here and build her career. That really makes me happy. Oh, wait, are the Caliente... Or is, are Katrina and Jeffrey here together? Huh. Why don't you help your son with your homework? I don't know why I went real quiet there. Sorry, y'all. Just not much is happening right now. Oh. Oh, they just became good friends. Oh, no. Mortimer's heading into the kitchen. Oh, no. Mortimer. Mortimer, what the hell? The hell, man. Ugh. Alright, that's okay. That's okay. Uh, pick up. Then throw away. God damn it, Mortimer. Just because you got money, you think you can treat this place like shit? Uh-uh. Unfortunately, we can't scold him. Because he is our customer. I always hate that. When a customer is being a re like just a real douche, you can't do anything about it. Whoa. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Oh, are they sitting outside? Oh, okay. That's acceptable. I just didn't know what was going on. Or is it just Katrina? Okay, Jeffrey's having his own little uh, table. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. She's feeling confident. Good. All right, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to cut your family time short because you got to go deal with a customer's mess. Ugh. 
Damn. We haven't made any sales yet. This is really bad. Have they already ordered? Have the Goths already ordered their food? Don't know. Let's keep this open. We've been open for five hours. Customer count zero. Oh! That happens at the end of the day. Okay. Like as customers leave and as we make sales. Got it. And she just reset. I wish this place had more friendly service. Well, damn. Here, we'll give you a friendly introduction. God. I don't know why I went quiet again. Sorry, y'all. That's just been happening. Um, I'm getting too invested in the game. God, I really just... Ugh. Uh -huh. Alright, stop talking. His food's at the table. I am really pissed off at Mortimer Goth right now. $101. Wow. Nice. Okay. So we made a $55 profit on that. Let's see. What did they order? If it'll... Uh-oh. Did the game freeze? The game froze. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. There we go. There we go. Okay. We're good. We're good. Let's see. It looks like Alexander got the grilled chicken and a soda. Bella got the grilled cheese and an orange juice. And Mortimer just got bread and... Oh, some chamomile tea. Well, he needs it. <laughs> he needs to calm his ass down. <coughs> oh, excuse me, y'all. Anywho. Let's see, how's everyone else doing? Oh, they are sitting together. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Uh, these are... We've only got a few customers, but that's fine. Wish this place had more friendly service. So it looks like nobody's too happy with the service. That's not good. That's to be expected, though, when you first start out. And I don't remember if I mentioned it when I started this episode, but this one's not going to be as long as my other... as my normal videos. Uh, I'm probably going to start cutting down the length of my videos. Excuse me, why do we have a tofu dog? We don't even serve those. Let's just clean that up. And... Oh, let's see. What can we do with Yumiko? Manage her. Uh, oh, we can't... We could check up on her. See what's wrong. But why don't we go over here and check on this and check on their table? Fiddle at us. Just see how things are going. Yeah, let's check on the table. See what's wrong. The hell? Sorry, there's some knocking going on outside. I'm not entirely sure what that's about. It's probably my neighbors being assholes. Because, ugh, I have horrible neighbors. I really do. Some of them are really nice, but some of them are just meh. Alright, and then let's go check up on Yumi Q. Because she really needs to get her act together. I trust everything is going well. Yumiko, my bad. I keep wanting to call her Mimikyu, like the Pokemon, the new Pokemon. That's just so fucking cute. Um, but I know that's not her name, and it's probably really racist that I'm thinking that. It just sounds just like it. God damn, can they keep it down out there? Oh, uh, what did she say? I'm motivated by my desire to stay employed. 
Well, let's check up on our chef. Manage, Izumi. Check up on... And then let's check up on Ananya. I really hope I'm saying her name right. Uh, manage, check up on. And if Yumiko could just get out here, things are okay. I can't say this is my dream career, though. Well, too bad. <laughs> You're going to be working here a long time, hopefully. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Eh, uh, same for you. Yeah, y'all will be okay. You'll, you'll learn to love it here at Karn's house. We're all a big family, and we take care of our own. Um, okay, unfortunately, Yumiko has not come out here to take their orders. So, I think I'm gonna have to criticize her. It will temporarily work harder, but their job satisfaction will suffer. I've got to, because she's not doing her job. I've got to criticize her. I hate doing this. I really do. Because I want everyone to be happy here, but at the same time, you got to let them know when they're not doing their job. Oh, no, no, don't yell at her. Just tell her, just calmly tell her what the issue is. That's all you need to do. I've never understood why that interaction is so angry. Like you just, or why people always yell at everyone, yell at other people when they're telling them what they're doing wrong. Just be like, hey, you're working hard. I can see that. But here are a few things that I've noticed that you might like to address or that I wanted to address, and I'm only letting you know so you can work harder, see where the mistakes are that you might not be seeing, and it's no big deal, just work on them, you know? Like, you don't have to be like, oh my god, you're not doing your job, blah, 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 blah. I just, I've never understood that. Like, don't go bulldog on somebody who's just making a mistake. Always pisses me off, and that was my phone vibrating sorry about that but yumiko please go deal with land grab and caliente god are they on a date or are they just out as friends they're probably just out as friends there we go thank you yumiko oh my god and we're actually gonna come over here and we're gonna prioritize their food We can't do that from here. Okay. Uh, all right. Let's see. No, no, don't do that. No, I don't know what that was, but don't do it. All right. Here we go. Manage. Oh, we can't. We can't do it. Right, let's see. Alright, let's see, let's see. Management. Prioritize food. My game is lagging. Like, we're not going to comp them, because we need the money. But we are prioritizing them. Your food will be out before you can say gastronomy. Okay, that's fine. That's pretty funny. But it didn't help. Should I tell her to cook it faster? Like, there's no way in hell we're comping our food. We might give them free dessert. We might. All right, let's see. Let's ask her to cook faster. Quest cooking speed. Quickly. Oh, never mind. They got it done. She got it done. Okay. Only 17 simoleons? What the hell did they order? That's all it cost us.
Oop. There's my timer. Don't worry about it. She ordered a hot dog. Oh, no, she ordered bread. And she has water. Okay, water's free. That's fine. You got mac and cheese and wine. That was only 17 simoleons altogether for us to make. Okay. That's fine. We're in the green, at least. Uh, since no one else is coming in, we're going to go ahead and disallow new customers, I guess. We could pretty much just tell Ananya to go home. This was not a very exciting first day. Disallow new customers. Okay, that's fine. Um, are the goths finished? Yeah, they're done. Yumiko, you need to come, like, give them their check. Oh, this place has great prices. What the hell does Alexander Goff know about prices? He's a child. I mean, I guess he could have an understanding of how restaurant pricing works. Even though I have no understanding of it. Oh my god. It's the one thing I was horrible at in school was price... Was making price lists. Like food costs and everything. I was not good at it. And this place does have great prices. Okay. Um, I guess we're just waiting for everyone to finish up. But Yumiko, if you could just get your ass back there and deal with them... That would be fabulous. Like, go clear their table, please. Oh, people are happy, at least. Let's see. What can we buy? Uh, I really want to save up for an additional waiter. And what's this? The give recommendations. Oh, okay, we can do that. I want that one looks good too. Cool. All right. Oh, she can't go in there, really. Why can't she go in there? Why can she not go in the bathroom? Can she go in this one? Come on, use the toilet. She can go in there, what the hell? Do they have it, like... What the hell? Can you, like... J make them what's the term I'm looking for can you like specify different public bathrooms in this game like when the hell did that happen whatever okay uh didn't know that the sims allowed male th male or female restrooms All right so they left Yumiko Please, get your shit together. Alright, we are closing, because no one else is coming in. So we're going to go ahead and close. We are in the red. Holy shit. Oh, we made 138 in sales. Wages owed. I don't know what that is. What did we owe? But all of their skills are going to go up. Growth opportunities in service and meal quality. Training your chefs. Yeah, we're working on that. Training hosts and waiters to love up their skills. Yes. But our meal prices are great. Okay. Oh, from paying our employees. That's what that is. Okay, okay. Derp. Alright, so we lost $9.
That's no big deal. Not a terrible first day. Could have been a lot better. Uh, I really hope Yumiko gets her shit together for her next shift. Because that was ridiculous. She didn't do anything. Like, she didn't serve the goths. Like, they didn't, they never left. So, they didn't count towards our customer account, you know? That was just really weird. But, and she never cleaned up after anybody. And it took me criticizing her for her to go fucking wait on this table. Oh, excuse me. But anyway, I said this episode was going to be short. It's probably about as long as my other episodes. Because I didn't pay attention when my timer went off. Whatever. It's all good. So, even though Leah is not currently cleaning up like I asked her to, I'm going to go ahead and call it a day. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Our first day with the restaurant open. Yay! Uh, right now we're at one star. I would like us to get up to five at some point, but we'll see how that goes. That is our goal for this series. Anyway, guys, I, like I said, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to drop a like. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe button and check out the rest of my channel. And until next time, have a good one. See you then.